Hi folks, um, I did a video uh, the other week, it was called uh, Challenges We Face When Using Reference Photographs for our paintings and I spoke briefly about how much more difficult it is when you're using a reference photograph as opposed to painting from a, another painting because the artist has made all the decisions for you. Um, and I had an interesting comment from Miss Smiley who writes that I noticed that if I'm painting from an extra beautiful reference photograph the uglier the painting turns out now I'm not quite sure exactly why that would be maybe because you're already using um, an example of mother nature at the finest and a, a fantastic reference photograph trying to keep up with that sort of quality with your painting is difficult maybe it's that I don't know or maybe um, it's a psychological thing possibly and it can be intimidating when we see a uh, mother nature at her finest and trying to reproduce that on paper or even trying to improve on it almost seems an impossible task you see most of the time when I take my reference photographs um, they're not they're not wonderful fantastic images so trying to improve on them almost seems it just seems the obvious thing to do and you think in theory it wouldn't be that difficult um, especially like if the sun's in and it's a dull day and there's no shadows um, and there's no contrasts and so you've got to come up with all these ideas yourself but I think generally I think logically thinking I think when I, when I get a really good reference photograph it, it shouldn't make you your job any harder if anything it should make it slightly easier if the colors and contrast and composition are already there if you wouldn't have as much work to do so i think it's all a learning curve and hopefully miss smiley one day you'll be able to do your reference painting your reference photographs justice with your wonderful paintings